you can't help feel compassion going into a room. You know, it's like, okay, you place yourself, but if that was you in that bed. You know, I try to smile, you know, maybe talk to them a little bit, you know, try to get their mind uh, away from the situation. We try to spend as much time as we can with them um, outside of just passing their meds. I think it's something we do a lot better than a lot of other places. Taking the extra few minutes that a patient and their family needs for reassurance. I listen. I've learned to listen. People have just gone above and beyond what they, what you would imagine they would do to make sure our patients are comfortable. There's a tremendous amount of compassion. I think we all care about each other a great deal. Citizenship to me is being able to help people in your community and around you. Uh, being able to give them something that maybe you didn't get yourself or that they're not getting from other people. Just making them feel good makes you feel good. That's what citizenship is to me. When I think of citizenship, uh, volunteerism comes to mind for me. I think as a rural community hospital, we have a certain obligation to give back to our community and have a good connection with them. I, I think of them as our extended family. You did your job, you did the best you could. It looks a lot better than it did when you first came in. I feel better leaving here at the end of the day than when I came in, definitely. They need to know that they can trust me as their caregiver. I would trust people in the hospital, outside the hospital, and I have on many occasions. We stress very highly uh, truth and communication. If you can't be honest, you shouldn't be here. I guess it's a trust that's built over time with my patients. And it w certainly wouldn't be as successful as it is if folks didn't feel as it was emotionally as well as physically safe space. If I'm telling a patient that this is the best care they can receive, I need to not be just saying that because I like the hospital or want them to come here, but I have to be able to really believe that. Service to me is, is making sure that my patients have what they need. I said, well, what do you want me to do for you today that can help you have a good day? You know, if it's my parent or my grandparent, you know, I'd want them to have the best service possible. I mean, from the minute you come in in the morning till you leave at night, it, it's what our job is. I'm here for them. I think that's what our patients expect of us, what the institution expects from us. We have a staff here that cares about making sure that the care we give is the best care the patients can receive. It's not meeting the standard. It's not wanting to do just enough to get along. It's it's going above and beyond it. I need to know that I've come to work and done the very best job that I could for that eight and a half hours that I've been here. What you'd do if you, your own mother was in the room, you know? It makes me want to do more. It makes me want to do, go above and beyond what's expected of me. I always know that I have done the best that I can do for my patient and my family. Um, and if I don't feel that way for any reason, I'm going to work harder the next day. Commitment means to me is uh, giving 100% every day. It comes full circle. You help someone, they help back. I think of taking ownership for the patient, even though you know, the patient's primary doctor is maybe in an office on the other side of town. When they're here in the hospital, they're, they're my patients and mine to take care of. For me, it's just being here on time being available if needed on, you know, when you're not scheduled. Commitment means I try to come in a little early every morning. If I do well and I show that, uh, my coworkers are going to strive upon that as well. I think long-term commitment to, a, to an institution uh, where you work shows, says a lot for the institution.